Getting started with Kurzweil 3000. In order to download it, you can use any browser. First, I'm going to start with Internet Explorer. You go to stleo.edu, and once it comes up, you go to Find It Fast and Accessibility Services. If you have a Windows, you'll click the first link. If you have a Mac, you'll click the second. For Windows, it's always going to be the first one, which is a web license. You'll click that, and it'll pop up right in the middle and beneath the screen. You'll click save as anything and then you'll click run. For Mozilla Firefox, you'll click it, the browser, and it'll come up. You do the same thing, go to stleo.edu, you go to find it fast, accessibility services, scroll down, first wall 3000 for Windows, if you have a Mac, click Mac and then it's the first one web license and it'll pop up like this you just click save file and it'll download up top at the right for google chrome you'll open the web browser same as all the other processes stleo.edu and from there on the, at the top right you go to find it fast under find it fast you go to the second link which is accessibility services you'll scroll down Kurzweil 3000 download for Windows. If you have a Mac, click the Mac. After that, it's the web license again. You'll click web license. With Windows, I mean Google Chrome, it automatically starts to download for you. So on the bottom, the bottom uh, left screen, you'll see it. And it's going to take a minute because it's such a huge file. And from there, you just sit and wait. Whenever you download something on a Mac, it looks a little bit different so essentially when you click the link you'll you'll download it and then on the top right corner of your browser the little arrow will highlight blue and it'll start downloading and that's the way you download it for a Mac after the download finishes since everyone has a different browser you will go to your folder you will go to downloads we we'll go to K3 Web License. Double click that, and soon a browser will pop up and you click Run. From here, you click Run, it'll start to install. So, destination folder the destination folder can be anything you want. Essentially, I just keep it in the downloads folder to keep it easy to know like you downloaded everything click install and the installation process will start it'll be pretty quick because it's already downloaded the, the software itself it's just installing the files necessary so the uh, program can run properly so it'll take a couple seconds so once the installation is done click install web license software and then it'll prep configure everything and It'll start to install more files. After this, you will install the uh, wizard for Curse Wall. So you click Next, Accept, Next, and the organization. You can just put um, St. Leo under username. I put UTS and since everything's under UTS here. But um, for organization, I'm going to put St. Leo University. You can put whatever you want since you're downloading on your own computer. So when you're uh, choosing a setup type, you want to choose complete because if you choose custom, not everything will be installed or it'll be in a custom setup complete is um it's what the software gives you custom you can have like things moving around and now it is officially installed it'll take up to five minutes now that everything is done installing you finally can go and click finish and after that, you must restart your system for configuration changes made to Kurzweil 3000 to take effect. Click, click yes to start now, 
or no if you plan to restart later. I'm going to click no since I'm doing the video. And after that, you're done. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great time and I hope you enjoy using Courage Wall 3000.